I gotta put a kisser button on it and I gotta tie my peep in. I can't do that until I get my kisser button. Because I gotta draw back, find where my kisser button's gonna go, put the a knock over top of it and a knock below it so it don't move. And then put this where it needs to be. And then floss this in with the dental floss. And then I'll be able to go out go out there and uh the yard and show you how I shoot it. Well, that's enough of me wasting your time. You guys have a good day or evening or whenever I get this on there or whenever you see it. And this is Gunsmith SC. And uh, we got the how to taken care of. Now we're going to get the how to shoot it taken care of next. This is my PSE Nova. I uh, see I got the old school sights on here too. They're not uh it's not the check it brand, but it's the same style. I got the cat whiskers on here. They probably don't call them cat whiskers anymore, but I was taught that way when I did uh Bowtech back home. So that's what they are. This is that kisser button I was talking about. And this is that other style of uh, True Knock. I really like this one better. It got some place for the arrow to actually snap in there. More screws hold it in instead of just two. Man, there's like six holding this thing on that string. And it's a bigger section of string that stays straight. And the bottom of this thing's cut out for it to go ahead and have that little kick with the curve. But from here, from the tip of my finger on up to the top of this, stays straight. This is my bow doodle, square D. It's a bow doodle square three, three inch overdraw. And uh, I like it. But see, it has them uh, metal springer that's supposed to drop away when you release. The only problem hunting with this thing is it makes a terrible screech when you draw back the arrow. They go ahead and put little plastic covers over top of them. Man, I ain't messing with that. Uh, there's something wrong with this bow anyway. I believe one of my limbs are twisted. It's, it's kind of hard for me to tell if the limbs are twisted or not. Because I'm drawing the bow back and shooting it, and I can't see the limbs. But this is a... Uh, 70 pound bow and it slings the arrow at 312 feet per second. I believe the Pearson Stealth 2 is somewhere around 360, maybe 340, somewhere around there. It's been a while since I looked on it, but that's what I want to get. That's going to be my new bow, the Pearson Stealth 2. Uh, I'm partial to the Pearson. Uh, this is my first PSE, and it's going to be my last PSE. Uh, I just believe that one sour bunch, one, one sour apple just kind of ruined the whole line of them for me. But, uh, hey, I can shoot good with it. I shoot real good with it. But the pins, the further away you get, the further away the pins are out to the left. So the bow's cannon in my hand, the bow's twisting. It's pulling off to the side like that. But you see them pins? I don't know if you can see them or not on there. How this one's, the top one's in, and then this one's out, and then this one's way out. They're the only three pins I use. I got two more extra ones up there. But, uh, yeah, it drives me crazy, man. You can't shoot with a bow like that. You can't shoot accurate with a bow like that. Uh, I got pretty good with it and I'm pretty accurate with it but I could be a lot better once I get that uh, Pearson CV2 together and right. The only thing I gotta do is get a kisser button.
I'm going to keep this bow and use it for plinking around in the yard and stuff. The Pearson ZB2 is going to be my hunting bow. And I got a Jennings, an older Jennings out there. And that's going to be my bow fishing bow. And uh, I'm going to set that up probably around first of the year after Christmas sometimes. Thank you all and you have a good day.